Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen and today I'm going to do my What Made Me Happy in September. Really, I can't really say favorites or fails. I didn't buy very much, but there were some things that really, really made me happy that I enjoyed and a few things I purchased, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna do something before I even go on. I can see that my face is really shining and I did put on the Dermatology uh, Tinted Moisturizer. But I wanna show you something that I have used, oh, I know, for seven years. I have a new one, I mean, I, I haven't used the same one, but it's a Mali, it used to be called Poreless Face Defender. And Darlene, one of my viewers, told me about it. And I'm gonna show you how it works because I'm gonna see, I see a lot of stuff that I shouldn't be seeing, a lot of shine. So, and it is a sunny, beautiful day here. But if you just put it on a sponge and touch all the areas that are shining, especially that forehead. But that really does tone down the shine and uh, it, it works for a lot. You can just use it without any foundation. And I haven't used any powder or liquid foundation in a long time. And I'm kind of looking forward to doing that, but I, I didn't want to do it today because I wanted to film in my pajamas. And uh, I'm gonna after I get done here, I'm gonna go take a bath and Jim and I are gonna go out to eat. That's what we're gonna do today. But Anytime I think about things that make me happy, I like to talk about them. And one of the things that made me happy is I cleaned out my underwear drawer. My, specifically, I'm gonna call them underpants. And what I did, I have like 10 pair that I love. And I was just rotating between those 10 all the time. And I had a big full drawer of underwear. And then I have a stash in my dressing room that I take when we travel and I put them in, I wear them and put them in a little, uh, like a Dollar Tree bag and throw them away. So I have plenty of those because we haven't traveled for a while. But what I did was I wore every pair and decided if I wanted to keep them or throw them away. And I only had one pair I wanted to throw away. And so in my underwear drawer, there are only 10 pair. Well, no, there's 12 pair of panties. And then I have my others stashed in another area because you never know when you're gonna need them. Jim said, you've got backups for your backups for your backups, and I really do. But that really has made me happy, and I'm gonna do my bra drawer next. I haven't started on it, but I'm just gonna put them on, make sure they're comfortable, wear them all day, decide if you wanna get rid of them or if I wanna wear them. The other thing, we have been dealing with construction right in front of our house and down the main thoroughfare behind us since I think this they started June 1st and it is almost over, almost over. We, in our little town, like a block usually consists of two homes facing here, you know, two homes on the other side, two homes and two homes, and then there's an alley between. Well, I couldn't get out the alley that I always like to go to the main street. So I got to do it yesterday for the first time, and they're cleaning up around here, but it's been a very long project, and I am, so happy that it's just about over. You know, I've talked about for the last few years, anything that makes my life just a little bit easier, I'm gonna try. And I was watching a video by my friend, Melissa55, and I have met Melissa in person and she is every bit as beautiful as she appears on her video. She is, her skin is just gorgeous and she's gorgeous. On her channel, she showed this. And this is a little vacuum and it's made for like keyboards and different things like that. And you can push it back and then you just have like a slant if you didn't need to get something up and it's rechargeable, which I love rechargeable. And then you empty it and it has a little, teeny tiny little filter. It has one in here and you have three more. I tell you what I've loved this for. Okay, I have the attachments for my vacuum to do the things I'm gonna tell you about. But when I see it, I wanna do it now. I don't wanna haul out my vacuum. I've got it in a closet and get out the attachments. Or like fans, like those tower fans and, and my dehumidifier. You have to keep those clean. And this has been wonderful. Before I put my fans up, I cleaned them all, got all the grooves. It really does a good job of getting that out. And also like if you have a vent that you wanna grab real quick before going out to get your vacuum cleaner and doing that. I really like it. I've used it for, you can use it for wet, but I haven't used it for wet. But I have some in my furniture, I have some like indentations 
it's perfect for that. I think this, I spent maybe like $22, $23, and I really like it, I do. And it's not loud, but you can hear it's powerful enough. So, thank you, Melissa. I got a great idea from you. I just have the charger and the additional bags in a little container, and then I haven't had to recharge it. And believe me, I've used it a lot. I have a, I have a blow dryer that I don't use a lot, but you know, you need to keep that airflow clean. I did it and it just really nice. Well, in June, my daughter and her husband started demolishing their kitchen and one bedroom downstairs and they were getting a whole new kitchen, a lot larger than what they had. And she loves to entertain, he loves to entertain. They have a busy household. Well, anyway, I had told her, I said, when you pack your things up, only keep what you love because I want to buy you new pots and pans, new dishes, new silverware, new glasses. And I had so much fun doing that. I would find something and I'd make a link. I learned how to link on my phone and I'd send it to her and see what she thought of it. And it, so she kind of knew what it was gonna be, but I had boxes here and, and I love doing it. They finally got in, in like the second week of September and she's got more space and she knows what to do with. But she has one of those great big kitchen sinks. I've never wanted one, but I've got the double sink. One of the things I bought her, I had to buy myself because I really liked it. Even though she has a dishwasher, she needed a rack to put her dishes, that's like a pot or something like that, something that you weren't gonna throw in the dishwasher. And so I looked those up on Amazon and I found this and I bought one for myself. I bought one for her and I bought one for myself. You can cut this, this is silicone. You can cut it to fit. I'll put a picture of it in here, but I really love it. It rolls right up. And what I did, I put it on the other side of my, you know, I have a side that I wash dishes in and I don't like to keep, I don't like those things that go in your sink and you dry your dishes. I used to put mine on a towel. Well, now I just put this over it and, and I just, put it under the sink and use it whenever I need it. So if I wouldn't have been looking for my daughter some things, I wouldn't have found it. And I am filming in my pajamas today. This is the first time I've gotten to wear long sleeve pajamas and these are some of my favorites. And I'm, I, I'm looking forward to the day I can get my real wintry ones out. But I think it's been over six months since I filmed in my pajamas. I learned so much from you all. You give me so many good suggestions. I never thought to look on eBay for the rattan paper plate holders or any kind of a holder. And I did, and I found some good ones. And I'll link the video where I showed you my other ones. They were a big fail. I guess that was last month, but they're good ones. And they're, they're, called, they're vintage. And several of you said you didn't know you can wash them. Well, what I do is I just run them under hot water. If there's a spot, I don't saturate them. If there's a spot, I'll spray it with like bleach water and then I just lay it flat to dry or turn it upside down to dry. You don't have to do that very often, but you know, when you go to the garden and you pick uh, vegetables, you always have to wash your basket. If it's real rattan, you can wash them, but I do not saturate them. But I was really happy to get these and, uh, and I appreciate your suggestions. It's been over four months since I've had my roots touched up and my hair cut. This side, I'm gonna put in something. I'm gonna try to film it and show you. Like this side, I don't have to do anything. I mean, it, I have my hair down usually, and I don't have to do anything. And on my scalp, on the top of my head, I don't have to do anything. But it's really silver right here. And this is what I use. And it's Color Wow, and I have had these. I'm gonna look it up, and I'll put it in the text up here. I think I've had these for six years. I like to put the blonde on first to kind of take the white out of my uh, hair. And then I like to, I have light I have blonde and I have light brown. And then I put the light brown over it. It doesn't stain my scalp. And I've tried all the sprays. I, I've got a drawer full of things to, to touch up for yourself. I, now there is a good little mascara that works too. But what I like about these, they are permanent until you wash your hair again. So I wash my hair, wait three or four days and wash it again and it'll stay on and I really do like that. I have never needed to purchase them again. If I had to do my whole head, it would be too expensive, but for the area that I need to do. And back in the day, I, I used to, it seems like I had more gray hair, I don't know, but I used to uh, do it right through here. I placed an order to Dermatology and I bought the Physical Tinted Moisturizer, SPF 44, and I had been using the Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisture SPF 46. This has both physical and 
chemical sunscreen. Well, I like it really well, and I thought, well, I'm gonna try this one. This is what I was wearing before I used my Mally on my face to get the shine. It does leave a big shine, so, but I do like it, and it has no oil in it, and it stays put, and it moisturizes my skin. That's what I think I like the best. I'm still kind of going into a little bit dry. I've always been normal, and I think this winter may be when my skin gets more dry. I'm gonna make sure I use this every morning, and I'm considering putting one on at night too, every night, but I don't know. We'll see, I'm a slacker, you know that. I have a discount link and code down below, but if you just go to their website, they usually offer some sort of a percentage off. Mine is 20% off, and, and I, that's how I buy mine. It was probably last year when I ordered a couple of uh, eyeshadow sticks from Lara Geller. My ones I had from CoverGirl had dried out, and I wanted to try Lara Geller. So I'm an, I bought these. I really like them. They're, they're called eyeliners, but I use them as eyeshadow. And this is one of the shades. I think this is Amethyst. So that's Amethyst and Petal Pink. I don't think you'll be able to see the Petal Pink, but it looks nice on the eyelid. Well, at the Nordstrom sale, the only thing I bought was some Charlotte Tilbury cream shadows, stick shadows, and I was really disappointed. I'll show them to you. The colors were great. I'll swatch them. And there's the shades right next to it. You can't see the lighter color. They work really, really well. Had I known you needed to sharpen these, I wouldn't have purchased them because I don't like to sharpen cream like this. But I tell you what, there is hardly any product in these. So this was a much better deal. I think these were marked to begin with $58, and I think I paid $35 for them. And these were $22 a piece, and I paid $16 for them each. So that was $32 versus $35, and I bet you I have three times more. And I like them equally as well. So that's something new in makeup. As I'm filming this, I haven't received any notifications that any new Built Bars were coming out but I anticipate they'll have something pumpkin and that's probably, I won't be buying it. My favorites right now are the chocolate brownie chunk puff bar and then I like the dream sickle. I wish the dream sickle would have had white chocolate. Yeah, this one's my sister's favorite, but I just love the, the puffs. They, they serve me well and except for what I'm gonna tell you next. I was reading something in the newspaper and it talked about viral cinnamon rolls and it was TikTok. So I looked online and put viral TikTok cinnamon rolls. This is a fail because it was so delicious. I'll put a link to a video of the one, the one that I used. I just bought five of the, one pack of the Big Grand's cinnamon rolls and you pour like a half a cup of heavy cream and that alone I'm sure is delicious, but I went one step more. I put like a half a stick of butter, some brown sugar and quite a bit of cinnamon and stirred that off and poured that over and I baked them. Oh, and then they had icing. That's why I don't keep sweet. That's why I rely on Built Bars because they were delicious. I'm glad I only made five, I'll tell you that right now. And I was really glad Jim liked them because what would I have done? Well, I would have had to give them away or doggone it, I would have had to eat them or freeze it. One of my fails is something I never dreamt that I would think about this as a fail. For years, she, uh, YouTube showed thumbs down. They still show thumbs up all the time, and then they would show the number of thumbs down you get, and it'd be on your screen. Well, I never changed anything. Once I started my channel, I didn't ever hide anything. I didn't, uh, it's just there to see. Well, I always, I can see if I get a thumbs down, but it doesn't bother me if I do or not. But when you're looking for something technical, or you're wanting instructions, those thumbs down were really helpful. They really were. Because like I could find what I was needing and look and then I'd click on one and I'd think they don't even know what they're talking about. So, so those were real clickbaity titles and they didn't give me the information I needed because that's the way I would know if somebody provided good information or not. I don't see any reason why I will not have a video up in two weeks but the next, in two weeks, when I put up my next video, which is I think the last Sunday of October, Jim will have, will have already had his hip done and I will have had my hair colored. Probably I will have been able to wear some warm winter pajamas because it'll be colder by then. 
and I will be 69 and I'm so thankful. I am so thankful I've known too many people in my life that would give anything to be 69. And I hope Jim feels like the bionic man when he has both of his hips replaced. And if you're still here, this is gonna be a giveaway. And you know I love to do giveaways. And I always give a percentage of what I make on YouTube as a giveaway. So sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. It depends on how many people watch my videos, to tell you the truth. So this time there's only gonna be two winners. And they're gonna be for $100 a piece. And it can be an e-gift card or a PayPal deposit. Those are my only two things I'm gonna do. Okay, let me think. In, your, in a sentence below, oh, I want you to use the word autumn. I'll, I'll write it up here, and I want you to use it in a sentence. And you can tell me something you like about it, or just use it in a sentence anyway, any way you want to. But the only thing you have to be is be 18 years old or older, and leave a sentence below. And you know, the next time I upload a video, I will announce the winners. And it is all good. As long as I've got God, it is all good. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I will see you in my next video and take care. Poreless face dipping. It used to be called Mally's Everclear Faceless. And I'm gonna do my drawer. And, but these will from, and I don't, so if I, I and I don't, it doesn't, so, um,